Hello, hello, friends. This is 31st of January 2020. You see, this is a video I had to make in post production. This is a more like YouTube type video. I would have liked to make it live. But unfortunately, I don't have an app that can do what I want. So that, let me explain what I wanted to say last night on Facebook. Because I was looking for an app, an app that we can use for live streaming on social media that uses the new technology for dual cam. You can use both, both of the cameras, like this one, for example. And we don't find such an app. Okay, there are a bunch of, uh, of apps on Apple Store, plenty of them, but they don't work. They don't work how we want. Because first of all, some, some of these apps cannot use an audio interface. If you plug it, it crashes. And this is definitely something we don't want. Now you hear me well because I have an external mic. I have actually Mixer Face R4B. I'm uh, using this opportunity just to, to say how amazing this audio interface is. Listen how it, how it is when we use the mic of the phone. You see, this is the type of the app I don't want to use. It may use the both cams, but unfortunately I cannot plug in an audio interface on the external mic. It crashes, it doesn't even recognize it. So um, now, you see, that's a big difference, isn't it? Why? Because we use an external mic. Such an app won't sell, you know, because an app which cannot use an external mic won't sell. So that's why think twice, think twice. For example, if you make an app, dual cam app, let it be how we want. If I want to start with one camera, then I start with one camera. And then by a single click, I go with both. And if I want to use the back and front, I can put it right away. And I can, uh, so I can do this as, as well when it's live, when I'm going live, to switch between the cameras. And if I want to emphasize something, I put only one camera. This is important. There is just very simple tweaks, you know, to make, to put it on the program. And, you know, when, when I think that we live in an age where we put billions of transistors in one chip, you say, well, if I make this tweak, you know, this is too much for an app, you know. Uh, and if I give it for free, uh, let them let them play with it. No, do something, put some money into it, put some time into it, and then we, we all can buy it, you know? And imagine how many people are around the world who are interested in using such an app now with the new technology. Another issue which is very important, you make an app and you put that on privacy policy, yet you're going to deal all such information and everything on social media we have with third parties. This is crap, you know. Give us some privacy. Don't make this app. We won't take it. Here is another one. For example, when you film, you know this? This. Left side. This one, right side. Well, at least make it, you know, uh, many people don't know this, but when they go live on Facebook, for example, there is a tweak there in settings. When you start the video, you go on these settings, and you choose the, to switch the camera so you look like in real life. Left side is left side, right side is right side. You see, this is very important too. Put this tweak in the app too so we can make it look like real. This is another issue for um, building a dual cam app. We don't want post-production, do you know that? Post-production, it's... It means much more work. And maybe some of us, we don't have that time. Maybe. Some others, well, of course. I, I'm talking about live streaming application app on social media. Or maybe you're just in front of an event. You, you want to put it right away. You don't have time to go on computer. You don't have time to make post-production, to uh, put this like uh, vlogging on YouTube. Yeah, this is nice. But for... Uh, for an app that, that uses dual cam, this is important. Not to go in post-production and put the, both of the films that you have filmed with, with the cameras 
and make it, make it picture in picture and look like you use the, the both cameras. Less is more, you know. And another argument. You see, some of the people cannot afford to buy not only very expensive phones, but with a lot of space. So going live, it's easier for them. You know, because they don't have the space on the phone, so they use the servers of Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, so on and so forth. So it's easier for them to go live with dual cam. Why should you bother going post-production? So think as well about using this app on some good platforms on social media. Allow us this to do it right from the app itself. And maybe with something like this, you know, with a simple remote, when we click on it, so it can start the video. So we stay further away from the phone and use such, such a thing in the app. There are these small little things, you know, that, that can make your app so great. We challenge you, I challenge you, and I think all of these people who are very creative on YouTube, on social media, that would like, would like to have such an app. Those who are going to make this first and are going to sell it without any limitations, they will make millions. I challenge you to do that. And thank you.